Hey Leo, Alice here with your weekly reading for August 8th to the 14th. Uh, we're going to check in on the energies that are coming towards you and see what's going on there. Dive a little deeper into that. Uh, for more information about this reading, you can check out the description box below. Uh, feel free to check out your sun, moon, rising, or Venus signs or any sign that you feel drawn to. This isn't a horoscope. I'm not an astrologer. So use your intuition um, there. If you enjoy this reading or you find it useful or entertaining in any way, I do appreciate it. If you could like and or subscribe, that helps me do more with the channel and you get to be notified when I post new videos up. All right, let's see what's going on for you, Leo. In the current energy. Wow, it'd be great if I could shuffle. See what energy is coming towards you. What does spirit want you to know? It could be a person. Usually it's a person. But we'll see. Doesn't have to be. Okay, it's coming towards Leo. a person too. There has to be another person. Uh, your overall energy, this can be your energy or the energy around you, is the Ace of Cups. This is your energy. There's a lot of emotions going on here. A lot of new emotions. Hmm. Page of Pentacles. I feel like whatever's going on around you in this energy, it's it's very new. Uh, with the Page of Pentacles, it's, I am getting a bit of a curiosity, but it's like, you know, uncharted territory. It's like, I've never felt this way before. I don't know what that means. I don't know if it's love or what here, but there's something here that there are new emotions. New emotions. Hmm. I'm just looking what's going on here because there is a tower something recently has happened here you know shocking revelations here um, truth bombs here you know there's a very tired exhausted type of energy here hiding this this can be you this can be energy around you somebody is hiding all of this that's happened hiding you know how tiring this is how exhausting and tiring whatever this is there's just something about it that it's like really like really really it's like hiding all of this and learning new things learning new things and having new feelings okay sure I mean that all sounds fine to me um the incoming energy here towards you there's somebody here who wants to reconcile with you um i get a reunion here uh it doesn't have to be but it does seem like somebody here wants some sort of union here with you there is some sort of reconciliation here um it can be a relationship somebody offering uh, you some stability in a connection, which can be a relationship here. Uh, it looks like though, like, here's the thing. I'm telling you the positive things right now. Um, but there's some stress going on here. Like, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. I mean... Somebody's been thinking about this a lot, and they're still not entirely sure. It's like they know they want to come towards you. They know they want to reconcile. That's why I'm like, I'm not sure if it's like a relationship. They want something stable here in the connection with you, but it's like they're not entirely sure how to go about it. They're not entirely sure what to do, what to say here. You know, this is something that racks their brain here that they've been trying to figure out here. Um, they're not very comfortable with the distance here. That seems to be one of the motivating factors here for this person. They don't like 
that things have slowed down. They don't like that there is some distance here between you and this person. It makes them feel very uncomfortable and not stable themselves. You know, they feel this is their energy here. They feel well, either they feel they're not stable or if this, this can be your energy that they feel like you don't care that yeah that it's like i need to come towards leo here because maybe they don't care about me maybe they're you know they're neglecting me here okay i want to know a little bit more about this energy here so i just i want to know more about this the two of cups here I did, I, yeah, I just want to know more the, about the two of cups. This reconciliation energy, this wanting to come together, you know, this connection. Nine of wands, three of cups, the magician in reverse, and death. I feel like there's a little bit of a change here. Well, not a little. There is a change. There's a change here in how this person expresses how they feel to you. Like, sh not express, shares how they, like, shares their feelings with you. Um, there's a change here in how they're sharing their feelings. That might be where this energy is coming from for you. You know, having these new feelings here. Because I feel like this person, like, they want to be more open about how they feel here because it's like they're tired of like feeling almost self-conscious like they're tired of like just not being able to do anything with this connection so it almost feels like you have the ace we have the two we have the three it's like they feel like i need to you know if I need to say more about how I feel. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. I mean, they, like they're coming towards you, like they are very focused here. It's just... When is this too, like... Because like there's, there's, there's something here that they're not sure about. I just want to find a little bit more about that. What that energy is about. Hmm. Oh. Uh, okay. I mean, they have some issues here that they've been trying to deal with here. That they've been trying to heal from. I don't know what it is. Like, they're still healing. They haven't finished healing yet. Um, there's some they've got I think some personal problems here to be honest things um, maybe from when they were younger here that need to be balanced here that there could be karma maybe they've done some things when they were younger when they were young and stupid here um, not done things but like the way that they were taught it feels there's something like that the way that they were taught when they were younger here you know they still need to sort of deal with that um, so there, so, you know, this is what's on their mind. You know, this is the sort of indecision here. Yeah, it's something, I don't know, something in their life. just telling me they need to heal from it it's not really telling me what it is um yeah if... the most i could tell you is i mean it could it can be that they keep things to themselves too much like they're very protective like overly protective like of, like very controlling 
in some way, but it feels it's like controlling of them, of their emotions or whatever. This person is like, doesn't open up maybe like possibly. It, 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 it's hard to say because I'm not really getting a lot because spirit just wants to, to tell me that they're healing. Just give it time. They're healing. They're healing. I'm like, great. Thank you. All right. Let's see what actions this person is going to their next action towards you. <laughs> this is person's next action towards you. Yeah, they are coming towards you to offer you um reconciliation here or some sort of connection here with you. They are closing out this cycle here. You know, they want to fight for this. That's all I see is this connection. That's what they're going to do. They're offering you something. This is an offer. This is an offer and they're offering you some sort of connection, some sort of reconciliation here. Let's see how they feel about you. How do they feel about you in the current energy? Oh, jeez. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Um. Don't be fooled that the lovers is in reverse. The very fact that the lovers are here and how they feel about you is a lot. You know, they feel very safe here with you. Um, they know that the communication isn't that great here with you. Like they, there are things that they know about how they feel. They know that they don't express how they feel, but they do feel very attached to you. They feel very attached to you. They feel very safe, very comfortable with you. Curious, how do you feel about this person? What are your feelings towards them? You may have just recently realized how you feel about this person. Yeah, you've recently had a new perspective of how you feel about this person. Something has changed here. Um, it could be because of something that you did or something that they did that may have... Um, been impulsive kind of like reckless here out of nowhere you know could have changed something in how you feel um for this person i don't know if you did this or if they did this somebody said or did something here which kind of changed things for you and or it could be somebody else entirely um but you have a new perspective on how you feel with an and with the nine a pentacles in reverse it's like it almost it feels it almost it's like the energy of i didn't know what i wanted until i realized that this is what i wanted that does that make, does that make sense i mean that's kind of what i'm getting here um okay i mean that's all good let's see what their intentions are towards you This all seems fairly positive, to be honest. I mean, there's a few things here, but... Yeah, they're not gonna wait. This person does not want to wait. Um... The page energy here is a bit... It's like this person doesn't want to wait before they lose their chance here. Again, I was getting that for, was it Aries as well? Um, yeah, this person is like, their intentions here are, I don't want to wait. I don't want to waste any more time. You know, I might fail. I might, you know, I might lose this opportunity here. Uh, you know, I might, you know, you might go off somewhere else. You like, you might find interest in somebody else here. There's just an energy of, I do not want to wait. I want to give to this connection because I see very clearly now what I need to do. 
Okay. Okay. Um, let's see what the potential outcome here is in the current energy here. What is the potential outcome? Knight of Cups. I mean, the potential outcome is somebody's offering their love here. I don't know if it's you. I don't know if it's them, but that is the overall potential outcome here. Somebody's offering love here. Um, I do feel though that, so how do I explain this? Okay. So the sort of where this is coming from there is there are there are feelings here you know there are new feelings here deep feelings here because it just feels right that's all i can really say it just feels right you know that's that's sort of where this is all coming from uh the actual like outcome potential outcome here i do feel it's not it's not going to go off as well as you think it will. There's something about somebody here's taking the lead here and it almost is like that prevents things from going as great as they could go or being as successful as it could be here. Like, I mean, I, I still think that it's still happening here, but it's almost like it's a little disappointing in some way here and how it happens. Like the actual action of it doesn't seem to be very smooth here. Whoever's doing it here, it can be um, the divine masculine, whoever um, resonates with that energy here because they're the one that's taking control of the situation here and offering the love here making the offer here and I just kind of feel like it just kind of goes a little wrong I don't feel like there I mean there are feelings here and everything it's just I don't know it just feels like a fumble <laughs> for some reason um it doesn't feel like that big of a deal it just feels like a little bit of a thump fumble here but um there is an energy here that it's like it's not how you envisioned it you know or how they envisioned it. I don't know what's wrong with it. There's something that's off about how they're coming towards you or how you're going towards them. Whoever, I feel like they're coming towards you um, and there's just something that's, that's off about it. Like, I feel like mm, it just doesn't go like it, it's not it's not as satisfying and there are regrets over how it happened okay but I don't feel like I yeah I don't feel like it's it's anybody's fault here because it looks like you kind of okay here I'll give you an example of how this energy feels it feels as if somebody you know you know when you like someone and maybe you tell somebody else that you like this person and like you you have in your head how you want to tell the person that you like how you like them but then what ends up happening is like outside of your control somebody else kind of like lets the cat out of the bag type of thing and like maybe they don't mean to or maybe they do I don't know but you're just like that's not how I wanted that person to find out that I like them. Like you wanted to like tell them face to face, you know, you wanted to take them aside. And you know, that song is getting in my head that the alone song. Oh yeah. Fuck. Was it like, you know, till now I always got by on my own. 
Until I met you How do I get you alone? That's kind of what it feels like like They wanted to get you alone and Tell you but that's not how it happened something else happened. Maybe Maybe they told somebody else like a text or something. Maybe you read the text. I don't know like it just feels Outside influence and that's why it feels a little unsatisfying here. That's just an example. I'm not psychic, but that's kind of how it feels. All right, advice and or guidance here for you, Leo. You want to like tell me <laughs> instead of having them all flip in my hand and not actually want to come out. It's like the energies are there. It's just you don't. It's like you can't decide what it wants to say. Okay, thank you. Hmm. I mean, overall, the advice and our guidance here is be generous. Be like, try to give generously to the situation. You know, don't give up here. Um, it, don't give up, but like, you know, you may also feel sometimes like you're the only person giving to this like either you the overall or maybe you're not giving enough to it maybe the advice here is like somebody else maybe the other person feels sometimes like they're the they're the lone man that's or woman or whatever you know there's a man on here like that they're the person that's fighting for this like they're the person that's putting in all this effort in here they're doing all the work you know, all the actions here. So the advice here is to kind of meet this person halfway. Because I feel like this person is the person that's going to, you know, they, they seem to have this energy of wanting to take action. You know, that Knight of Swords. And there just seems to be a lot of, like, wanting to do things, take action towards you. The advice or guidance here is just to make sure you meet this person halfway. That you contribute as well here. Um... It doesn't matter if the things that you say that you think, oh my gosh, like I'm going to say something stupid or <laughs> like I'm not really good with my words or, or anything like that. Like I'm my communication kind of sucks and all that. I feel like a little bit of communication is better than no communication, right? You know, trying to say something, even if it comes out kind of shitty, is better than not saying anything at all. And that feels that's kind of what to embrace here. Um, try to, I mean, the Empress is such a nice energy. Like, I'm not even saying, like, don't be this Empress here, but it feels to be, like, the Empress can be quite passive, I feel. She's a very passive energy. Like, you have the Empress and the Emperor, and they're kind of, like, yin and yang. You know, like, they're two sides of a coin, of the same coin. And the Emperor is the one that kind of does more, has more action, and the Empress is a little more passive. And I'm getting kind of that passive energy here. So try not to be so passive um, with this connection here. Now, obviously, you know your situation better than I do. I'm just telling you what's here in the energy. Um, but yeah, you use your own discretion here. Okay, so that's your reading, Leo, for this week. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, good luck and take care and I will talk to you later.